All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cow tutorial. Uh, we are in Farm Sim 22. Things have changed a lot, and it's making me annoyed because I'm trying to go with the things that I thought I knew about Farm Sim that I really don't know anymore because everything's different. So, first of all, let's talk about cow types. We no longer have one breed of cow or just random cows that look neat, but whatever. The cow breeds actually make a difference now. We have two cows that you're going to raise for meat, and we have two types of cows that you're going to raise for dairy, like to get milk. What we have in this pen right here, this is the cheapest pen you can buy, and I would say it's not worth it, but uh, yeah, my personal opinion is to get the bigger barn that's 200000 because this is a pain to use. But if you're just having meat cows to grow meat cows, this is okay. Um, and we have the two types of cows here. We have Angus and we have Limousin. And these cows do not produce milk. Uh, you're going to want to buy them young, like for the $300 price. You're going to raise them for 36 months. And then at 35, 36 months, they're going to be at their peak value. You sell them. You make 10 times the amount of money that you put into them as far as uh, purchasing. Because obviously they're 300 to buy, 3600 to sell. That's a nice bonus of... Well, let's say you spent $1,000, you're going to have $10,000 come back. So um, you're going to make some money on these cows. But, you know, they, they, you have to hold them for 36 months for them to become worth their, their max value. Um, but that's the game plan with these cows. They are a little bit easier to feed. Originally, we have two types of feed for cows. Cows either eat hay and grass like a mixture, or they eat what's called TMR, or Total Mixed Ration. And I'm going to teach you how to make that tonight. You're going to feed TMR to your dairy cows. These cows do not need TMR. All they need is hay, according to the guides. Now, I'm doing an experiment right now. I'm going to give them hay, and they're going to let them sit for a day or two. And then I'm going to give them some grass. And I'm going to see if their health goes up with the grass. Because I've been told that they don't need grass. But their effectiveness doesn't go up all the way unless you feed them both. So I'm interested to see if giving them grass and hay at the same time actually makes a difference or not. Now, one of the downsides of this crappy pen that we were talking about, it does not, you have to water the animals yourselves. All the other barns that are in game include water. This is the only one that you actually have to water the cows. So I don't like this pen for that reason because then you're going to have to either drive all over the map trying to find free water or provide a mod that gives you free water or install one of these water cisterns that charge you money to get water. See that brown thing up there? That's a water cistern. And I have to pay for the water that comes out of that. So that's kind of a pain. Another downside with this pen, uh, you don't get any slurry. You can't add straw, so there's no manure. So you can't do anything with this pen aside from just feed the cows. Um, however, if you have dairy cows in here, they will make milk. So you give them TMR in this pen. You're still going to get milk but you don't get any of the slurry, which is free fertilizer, and you don't get any of the manure, which is free fertilizer. So let's go ahead and get these cows fed up and watered up and uh, then move on. Now, whilst I'm driving around, if you have not watched my loose material video where I teach you how to make hay, grass, silage, and straw, I do suggest you watch that video if you don't know what you're doing. Um, there's a lot of different materials that we have to make on a farm and a lot of different ways to collect it and store it. And that video covers a lot of that stuff. Uh, I've cho chosen for this video to do the bale method just because it's easier to mix with bales. Um, but you can also use loose materials if you decide that you want to go that route because uh, it's cheaper than buying a baler. But um, the bales, to me at least, personally, they're easier to store and deal with. But So once again, if you want to go the loose materials route, it's not a bad thing, but I, I prefer just the handling of bales. Easier to store, easier to organize. All right, so we're going to dump the water here. I'm going to pull back, and there we go. Water goes in the bin. You can see that this trough is going to fill up with water. Now, it holds more than I'm putting in it right now, but I'm just getting some in there for the tutorial's sake. I think it'll take, oh, no, it didn't take the whole trailer. Okay, I thought it would, but it didn't. And that's, I think, six six days worth or five days worth. Depends on how many animals are in there. But All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some hay in there. So I'm going to grab my forklift and get that done. 
All right, just so you guys know, the hay bale is the lighter bale. The grass bale is the darker bale. Is it hard to tell which one's which? A little bit, but you can tell. This is hay right here. So we're going to put this in first, and all you got to do is drive it up to the front here and set it down. And you can do this with any of the pens. There you go, and it filled up. And we're all set. So those cows have been filled, fed and watered. Once again, I want a couple, maybe 24, 48 hours to pass, and we'll check their health and see how they're doing. Um, so next up, we're going to talk about mixing in our food. And right here, I have the perfect mix set aside for you, along with some extras. There are three mixers in game. There's a small one, which I'm not, this is not set up for, and then two larger ones, which will work with this setup. Um, the smaller one you're going to want to do, uh, well, I'll, I'll get to that first. We'll do this first, though. So what you're going to want to do is for your mixer wagon, you're going to want two silage. You're going to want two hay and one straw for filler. Then you're going to also mix in some of this stuff. Um, this is to make the mineral feed, and that's going to help the cows produce more milk. So that gives you the best possible TMR solution. Now, you don't have to put in mineral feed to get TMR, but it will help your cows produce more milk, so it's worth doing. All right, so pro tip, if you open your help window, which is on the computer, F1, I'm not sure, I think you have to go in the, into your joystick menu and <coughs> turn this on, but your controls menu, you can see here there's a nice little app at the bottom of this uh, uh, screen there showing you how much of each material you've put into the mixer. Now, uh, especially if you're using loose materials where you're shoveling it in, this is a good way to know how much you're adding and how much you need to add to get total mixed ration. So we're gonna um, turn the, well, we leave the tractor on for the hydraulics and we're gonna run over here. You don't have to really leave the tractor on. I like tend to role play a little bit. In real life, would you put these in? You, Well, cut the, cut the wrapper off and then put it in. Oh, and we have to wait. I'm, I gotta pause for a second. These bales are not done fermenting yet, so we have to wait till they're done fermenting. So I'm gonna fast forward a time a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, it's the next morning. The bales still aren't done. But what I wanted to show you is this, because remember, we're doing this experiment with the cows in the meanwhile. And these cows are not 100% healthy. So I'm gonna see if adding the grass will actually fix that. Right now, they're at 66%. If you look at them, they've got 100% productivity. They've got water. They've got hay. and But they, their health is still low. So I want to add the grass and see if that will bring their numbers up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to pop this in, and, and we're going to let them sit overnight and see how they're doing tomorrow morning. Hopefully this will bring their health up to at least 80%. It's interesting, you know, and so they don't, like I've said, they, they're not supposed to need TMR, but maybe they really do, but we'll take a look. Uh, so I'm going to park up here, and I will see you guys in 24 hours. And see, this is the stuff that frustrates me about this game. So it's been 24 hours again, and this is why it's hard to make tutorials, because the things that they say in the menus don't necessarily pan out. These cows now have 100% health. Why? Because they have grass and hay. So I've had many people tell me over and over again, many of my people that I go to for information about the game tell me that, oh, yeah, the cows only need hay. They don't need grass. Well, if you want 100% health, which is the best value for the cows when you go to sell them, they've got to be at 100% health when you sell them or they're not going to be worth as much. They have to have both hay and grass. So don't let people tell you otherwise, because it's not the truth. They need both. So if you're doing the limousine, limousine and uh, and um, Angus cows, be sure to give them both hay and grass. And if you're being cheap and you don't want to do TMR for your milk cows, you're going to get less milk, but be sure you give them both hay and grass. And they will produce milk, just not as much. Okay, so it's been 48 hours total. These bales should be almost done. I might have to cook them off a little bit longer. Yeah, I do. Uh, but I'll do that. I'll be right back. All right, so we are ready to make our TMR now for our, our well, non-existent dairy cows. I'll have to buy some. <laughs> now, <coughs> purchasing dairy cows is the opposite of the limousine cows. Dairy cows do not start producing milk 
until they're 18 months old. So if you want to get a real good deal, you can buy a dairy cow for $300. So we'll put two of these in. And uh, that's great, but they're not going to produce milk for a year and a half <laughs> so or more, almost two years, uh, before they start producing milk. So if you want to get milk right away, you're going to need to go out there and buy dairy cows that are 18 months old. And that's going to cost you about 1000 to $1,500 per cow. Now, dairy cows are not going to be worth as much as the meat cows full value. But the thing with the dairy cows is they don't age uh, as far as dying. They will live forever. So you don't really want to sell them anyway. You're just going to want them to produce milk. So you buy them at 18 months and keep them forever, and they will make you money forever. Um, or you buy them young, and, um, yeah, then at that point you uh, you uh, wait for a long time, and then they start making you money, but you save lots of money Though you have to feed them and stuff until then. Okay, so you can see here we have our mixing ratio is good. And we're going to put our bale in. This is why I like the Silo King or the, the green one. I can't remember the brand, but we'll look real quick. Because these fit so much stuff into them, you can put five bales worth of food. That's a lot of food. Uh, and it's we got 2,100 liters of mixed ration. And we still have a little teeny bit of room in the trailer and what that means is we're going to put our mineral feed in there to get our cows that little extra boost for health it makes them healthy good for their tummies uh, so we pull up next to it and that's the mineral feed in the yellow bags there you can purchase that at the store and i'm just going to let it run um either till the mix is halfway through or um we run out i think it'll reach halfway before about one of these one of those pallets should do two of these two of these trailers full so keep watching it yeah maybe not quite so much but we're getting close to halfway that's good so we're going to that we're going to use that as our mix and then the, other, the rest of that will go in the next batch that we mix up. But that's it. So, see, that's why I like to use bales. Super easy. Two hay, two silage, one straw as filler. You don't have to put the straw in, but the straw gives you free food. And straw is cheap. Actually, straw is free if you're growing wheat um, or mowing wheat. And then we have our mix, our, our mix in for the, uh, the mineral feed. And that gives us total mixed ration. Uh, and so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you in the menu real quick here the other mixers. And once again, it, you can mess around with it a little bit and try your own formulas to get as efficient as you possibly can. Or you can even do loose materials and not use bales. But both of these guys are the same. And I, so you're going to use, you know, two, two, and one plus the, plus the, the, the mineral feed. This one... I would go with a with a triple, just three bales. I would use two silage and a hay, or two hay and a silage, and then mix some of that uh, mineral feed in. I would not put any straw in this one unless you have very small bales, and you can adjust the amount. Make sure you don't throw off the mix. Um, but I would use three bales, and then you know, obviously bales are different sizes too, so you got to mess around with that a little bit too. I'm just trying to give you a, a rough idea of how it works. Um, but I would also put some of that mineral feed in there, and you get the best TMR possible. If you blow the mix, and one of these, and it really sucks when that happens, um, and one of these uh, percentages over on the left-hand side there turns red, mm, and you're full, like let's say you filled it up all the way, you're going to dump the whole thing on the ground and put part of it back in and then get the mix balanced and then do that again for the other half of it. It's So be very careful not to go into the red, especially on the high side, because you're going to end up having a difficult time, you know, getting the mix balanced. You can't do anything with forage. It's got to be TMR. So um, the forage just becomes useless material. So be real careful that you don't overmix. If you use the formula that I just showed you, the the two, two, and, and uh, one, plus the, the mineral feed, You're, you can't go wrong. 
So let's go ahead and go feed these cows that are ravenous at this point. And we will also be doing a little bit of a little straw presentation on this barn because this barn also makes slurry. And if you add a manure pit, you can also get manure out of this barn. So uh, whereas the other one doesn't do that, this one has slurry built in and you automatically get slurry. So no matter what you do, this is the slurry spigot. Slurry is free and you can use it as fertilizer. So you just have to buy a, a, a slurry spreader to use it. But your cows will make slurry. And like I said, if you add a manure pit and you add straw separately, you will also um, you'll also end up getting um, manure. So let's buy our cows. There they are. So we've got our brown Swiss, and once again, I, I recommend buying the older cows. Why? Because otherwise, you get nothing from them. So we're going to buy 15 of these. I'm going to fill it up with 30 cows. We'll let them reproduce and maybe make some babies. Okay, and we're going to also buy 15 Holstein, just so you can see them. Now, here's a little trick about the game with cows. You're better off buying all one kind of cow because they reproduce better when they have more of them. So what I just did, I actually made it, it's going to take longer for me to reproduce cows because I've got two different breeds in there. You'd, you should go either all Swiss Dairy or all Angus or all Limousin or all... You know, um, um, what's the other type? Uh, uh, Holstein. That's that's a little trick there. So if you want your cows to reproduce faster, keep them down to one type of cow. Don't do what I just did. Uh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and feed these guys. You can see as we pull in here, it says total mixed ration. So we're going to dump that in. And they'll take more than what we have, but I'm, all I'm doing is feeding them this amount. You'll notice it dumps out the wrong side. You can change that, but I, it doesn't matter. And voila, the cows are now fed. We're going to allow some time to pass. We don't have to water them once again. One of the reasons why I like the bigger barn is because you don't have to water them. So, But I am going to add some straw in. Now, there's two ways to add straw. You can either use your mixing wagon, but be careful that you don't overfill it with straw and then have to dump it back out. I would say maybe do one bale at a time or two bales at a time. Um, or you can buy from the animal store or the animal section, you can buy one of these bale shredders, the primer or the pro chop. Throw a bale in there, it's going to shred it and spread it into the, the, the silo, or the, I'm sorry, into the cow shed, and you'll have straw all over the floor, and your cows will be happy. Uh, and you'll start getting manure if you have a, a manure pit. So. Otherwise, use this method because this also works. And if you have a feeder already, once again, you just don't want to do it to the point where you have so much straw in there that um, that uh, you have straw left over in the machine screwing up your mix for the next time you mix. Or if you do have straw in there, hopefully it's under 5,000 so the mix doesn't get messed up. But uh, anyway, I know for sure we can fit two in there without a problem. So we're gonna put two, I'm gonna put two of these straw bales in there. So anyway, I hope this guide has been helpful to you. I, there's a lot of information with cows. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, but there's just so much. It's almost impossible to, to keep it simple. And like I said before, I'm, I'm assuming or hoping that you've watched my all about grass, hay and straw videos from the Farm Sim 22, uh, uh, 22 uh, tutorial list. So you can see how to deal with all those different materials. You can see here the Silo King saying, no, bad mix. It's all straw. It's okay. It's all we wanted it to be. So let's go ahead and give these to the cows. And then I'm going to show you real quick the other two barns that are available in game. Now, there are many other barns available. Well, not many, but some other barns available through the Mod Hub. Um, and those all have different features, so check those out. But I, I try to stick to just in-game stuff for those Euro that are on console and don't have the same options. All right, so we're going to get in here. And at some point, it's going to tell us, yeah, overload the straw. And you can see as we're overloading, the straw is going into the pen. And it's filling up with straw. There we go. Oh, crap. 10,000 liters. Yep, it took it all. 
And I think it probably can hold a little bit more. Let's take a look at our barns in the menu. So right now we have total mixed ration. We have, there's, see, there's no water because we don't need water. And we've, we're, we've half filled it with straw. So we could fit two more bales of straw in here without a problem. Um, and they've got their TMR, and that should be everything that we need. Uh, let's see what their health does tomorrow morning. I'm going to fast forward time. And if everything went to plan, we should also have some milk coming out. So um, that'll be nice. So let's go ahead and fast forward time and see what it looks like tomorrow. All right, the results are pretty good. We've got animals with 100% health. It's 30 of them. They've produced 2,000 liters of milk. That's not bad. Uh, and they're happy. They got straw. They got, they're making slurry. We have 7,000 liters of slurry. If only they produce as much milk as they produce slurry. Ugh. But regardless, we have slurry. Once again, if we wanted manure, we added the straw. If we wanted manure, all we'd have to do is go into our menu here in the build menu and go to construction and go to silos. And here is a manure silo right here. And we can add that and get manure. Yeah. So that's that. So here, there's our cow. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two bigger barns uh, just so you can see what they offer uh, that's different. And then we'll, we'll, we'll call it a night. All right, so here's the next biggest barn at $500,000. The only big difference is that it's bigger. Um, it can hold more food. It can have more cows. Uh, it still produces slurry like the other barn. I mean, it's, it's basically a giant version of the last barn we looked at. Much bigger field here for more cows to live in. They're all happy. But it doesn't really give us anything new. The big show is the very biggest barn, and that is at three quarters of a million dollars this does add some cool stuff. Uh, this barn has a, a Lely feeding robot. And you can see this is the same as the other ones, right? But there is one big difference. And that's behind us here in this section. The Lely feeding robot. I don't, what would you put in here? Hang on. Maybe this shows you. Maybe that's for mineral feed. I'm not sure what this is for, but you put the mineral feed here, so I'm assuming maybe it puts mineral feed in there. Um, this has a nice system where you don't you, you you wouldn't use bales. You can use bales, but you don't have to. You can use a pickup wagon, and when I say pickup wagon, a forage wagon, like so. Uh, you make your straw and your grass and your hay, and you pick it up with these guys, and you bring them back, and you dump them in here. You fill up. This is for hay. This is for straw. And silage, obviously, you'd have to make using a silage bunker and then dump it in here. And then last but not la uh, least, you've got your mineral feed. And you put that in here. And then this little robot comes out, and it can't get in. He's locked in here, but there he is. And these, this comes over and picks. it scoops all the materials out. And every couple hours, the robot comes around. Well, I think the mineral feed system's connected in through here probably yeah see that pipe going out that pipe going out is getting the mineral feed into the mixer and so it mixes it and then the little robot comes around here and he goes down here and cleans up and feeds your cows you don't even have to feed your cows all you got to do is make sure that this is full of materials so you come over here fill this up and leave you never have to actually feed the cows yourself because that robot will do it for you it is three quarters of a million dollars. That's a lot of money. Now you got. Uh, I want to say how many cows go in here? Eighty cows. So if thirty cows made eighteen hundred liters. Forty cows. Let's see, eighty cows. Let's say sixty cows would make two, like four thousand. So you're looking at making, making five to six thousand liters of milk a night. Uh, that's one of those trailers full. That's a lot of milk. So you can make a lot of money with this barn. Um, now, it's thousands of dollars. It'll be a long time before it pays for itself. Probably 10 years. But it will, or 8 years. But it will pay for itself eventually. Anyway, I thought I'd share those barns with you because they're neat. This one especially is unique. Uh, it is very pricey. But it is cool. Um, 